Hello and welcome back to Excelsif. Today we are going to make an attendance sheet with checkboxes. If you recall, in our video about sequence formula, we had an attendance sheet with ones and zeros mentioned for present and absent respectively. It was a pretty simple sheet and works fine. Moreover, if you have situations where you mark half days for your employees, you can simply mention 0.5 in it and it counts as half day when you are calculating salary. Today, we are going to create a totally different version of an attendance sheet on Google Sheets. So let's get to it. Here we have our employees mentioned here and dates here. We are going to need days too so we can exclude weekends. So let's use text function here in this column below the dates. We are going to use is equal to text then within brackets for number we will refer to cell B1 and for format we will mention D as in delta three times in quotes. Now we have the day for August 1, 2023. Let's drag this formula to the end. Now to putting check boxes in all these cells, select all of them using your mouse or keyboard and go to the insert menu. Select check box and here they are. To mark the attendance, we simply have to put a check mark in the box and that makes it present. Let me quickly put some check marks randomly. If someone is absent on a certain day, we leave the check box blank. Pretty simple, right? Now, end of the month approaches and how do you calculate everyone's attendance so you can calculate their salaries? We don't want to count manually how many days an employee has worked. So we will use a formula to calculate that. Since these check boxes are kind of binary, if it's checked, it means true and if they are blank, it means false. So we can pretty easily calculate how many of them are true by using a COUNTIF formula. Let's begin a formula. COUNTIF For range argument, we will select our range from here to here. For criteria, we will simply mention true and close brackets. And here we have the attendance of this employee. Now let's copy this formula down. As of now, our sheet calculates all days as working days and doesn't consider as weekend. Let's fix that. Where I am from, we only get Sundays off. So first off, we will delete checkboxes from all the Sundays. Like this. Now, there is no possibility of accidental clicks. For most of us, our job is done. But let's kick it up a notch. We are going to compare our attendance with working days in a month and maybe create a column for attendance percentage for everyone. Let's first write working days on this column here, A1. In A2, we are going to use networking days international formula to calculate our working days because this function gives us the choice of choosing only one day as weekly off. So our formula starts with network days and we will choose the network days .intl option and for start date, we will choose August 1 and the end date is here. August 31. For weekend argument, we can choose from all these options for this formula. If where you are, you have any other weekly off than Sunday, you can choose that argument. For me, it's 11. So I'll mention 11 and finish this formula and we have 27 as working days. Now let's calculate our percentage by simply referring to our total divided by our working days and we will use absolute reference by pressing F4 on this one. Press enter and now let's copy it down and let's format these columns as percentage by going in here and clicking on the percent sign and we are done. Our attendance sheet is ready. You can use this sheet wherever you are. Simply remove the checkboxes whenever you have weekends at your location and use the correct argument for our networking days formula. That's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel tips and tricks. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions or if there's a specific topic you'd like us to cover next. I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, happy spreadsheeting.